I'm Dana Denha, and you're watching FYI. The latter half of winter has been brutal and seemingly never-ending. And although you may be feeling the blues, the winter offers opportunities no other seasons provide. Watch. For the fourth year in a row, Washtenaw County Parks and Rec has been hosting the Ice Carving Festival, where teams throughout Southeast Michigan compete. We have three teams from uh, Macomb Community College. Uh, we have a team from Washtenaw Community College and University of Michigan. And for this competition, there were no regulations. Um, we got to carve whatever we wanted. Ice was flying as the competition got underway. We had one block per person, so my team of two, we got two blocks of ice, so that's how we were able to create a dragon with wings. They're carving uh, two sculptures. One is a camera, just like here, and then another one's a uh, gecko. There are chainsaws, blow torches. It looks like there's also just some household items like irons and anything that heats up and creates some type of heat so they can melt pieces of ice, it seems that they're using. You get to watch it happen right in front of you and although it disappears within a few hours under the sun, it's still so much fun to do and to watch. It's hopefully going to be a passion for the rest of my life because it's got to be the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> Stay tuned and we'll be back shortly with more news and information. Students and kids affected by Dance Marathon at the University of Michigan, or DMUM, put on their best duds to dance and laugh the night away. DMUM let the good times roll as they support a very worthy cause. Today we have the For the Kids formal from uh, Dance Marathon, the University of Michigan, and it's a great event. It's essentially a dance party put on by the University of Michigan students for the kids, and they're having a good time. FTK is a hashtag that we use for lots of things, and um, so it stands for For the Kids. Everything we do is FTK, For the Kids. DMUM raises the roof to children in need. It's an opportunity for students to make a tangible difference in the community. Um, you're really getting to see how the money that we raise impacts the families um, and how we're able to help them. So it's a bonding opportunity for students to get involved on campus, to uh, get to know other kids. There's volunteering opportunities, leadership opportunities. So it's so much more than just fundraising. It's important to spread um, awareness about disabilities and to promote acceptance of people with disabilities and they've been fantastic at doing that. It's a great organization not only for the students that get to be involved to you know stretch themselves in that way and do something good for the kids but also it's of course a good thing for the kids as well. They have a lot of therapies that they put on that people that might not normally be able to afford get a chance to participate in. So they're a great organization. To learn more, visit dmum.org. It's the snowy season and there's some need to know information for residents and businesses alike as they keep their sidewalks safe for pedestrians. Learn about snow removal guidelines in the city of Ann Arbor in this month's City Roundup in 60. Hello, my name is Robert Keller with the City of Ann Arbor. Winter means snow and ice, and that makes it hard for people to get around the city, especially pedestrians. So as a resident and business, you need to do your part and help clear your sidewalks of ice and snow. What does that mean? Well, for residents, it means any snow accumulation greater than one inch has to be cleared within 24 hours. If your business, any snow accumulation by 6 a.m. needs to be cleared by noon the same day. So help do your part clear your adjacent sidewalks, crosswalk ramps, and any concrete bus stops that may be adjacent to your property, and help make it easier for people to get around the great city of Ann Arbor. 
The world of pageants can be fierce, and for one woman trying to redeem her image in a small town in Mississippi, the local Miss Firecracker contest is her last chance to prove her worth to a community that has labeled her a tramp. The Hollywood Reporter calls it a comic volcano of a play populated by offbeat but vital larger-than-life characters. Joining me is Carla Margolis, director, and Liz graves Hoxie, producer of PTD's production of the Miss Firecracker Contest. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. So can you tell me a little bit more about the Miss Firecracker Contest and why PTD wanted to have this play? Yeah. Do you want to give them an idea of what? Of the play. What to expect. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, it's uh, sort of a dramedy, more medy than drama, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's, but there's the underpinning of drama underneath the comedy. Um, and it is largely an ensemble piece, and it is a, a, an adorable cast. They just really are so much fun to work with and uh, so talented. And um, it's about a journey that different characters go through because of this one woman's decision to go into the Miss Firecracker beauty contest. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Susan Morris was the person who um, proposed this to mm -hmm. PTD and she was the director of the show. Unfortunately, she became sick um, and so she withdrew. And PTD was really, really fortunate that Carla was right there. Because <laughs> you were originally AD. the assistant director. Right, I was the assistant director. <laughs> Is this your first time in the director's chair, or have you done it before? Uh, well, I, I have, but not in this context. Not really for adults so much, okay. for a whole show. I've done it for children. I've done lots of children's theater full productions. Oh, well, that seems done. like it would be even harder. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is my first. I this is my first entree as uh, as director. For well, kudos to you for stepping in because it can be hard, not unexpected, to have to do something like that, and it really shows the support that you give each other that you would just step in for Susan like that. It, it really was great. Yeah, <laughs> I have become the assistant director as well as the producer, and so we're a team. <laughs> okay, yes. yeah, that's amazing. When is the show? Uh, starts opens on the twenty first. In the same sort of two weekends and yes. then a matinee. Yeah, two a couple matinees, matinees yeah. Two yes. matinees, Sunday and Wednesday. And um, it ends on the Saturday. Uh, I don't remember the date. The third. It, yeah. March third? March. Okay, yeah, oh, that makes that's sense. right. Something, it goes yeah. two two days into March. Okay, so you have plenty of chances to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. there are. There are plenty of chances. Yeah. And um, everyone should know that every Thursday, there are two Thursdays in this run, um, PTD has a pay what you can. Mm -hmm. We want people to come and watch theater. We really do. Yeah, um, well, and you know, you guys put a lot of work into it, so you want to yes. have the audiences in there to yes. come see the hard work. Yes, mm -hmm. and I should say too that this is um, PTD's 25th season. Oh, so it's an anniversary season, too. It's an too. anniversary season. And this is the beginning of it. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. This show was one that PTD did um, some years ago. There's some revivals in the anniversary oh, season. Oh, okay. Because this is a show I've never really heard of, but you said it started maybe in the 80s, mm -hmm. Broadway. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned that it's actually a movie, too. Mm -hmm. Starring mm -hmm. Holly Hunter. Yes, yeah. from 89. Yeah, mm -hmm. so now I feel like I need to go back in my mind and see if I've ever seen that movie. Yeah. Because it, that might sound, like it kind of sounds familiar to me, but not 100%. So... What has been maybe your best part about working with this cast and on this show? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, watching the, the actors change and evolve. That mm -hmm. has been the most exciting part. Seeing how they've, how they've uh, gotten so much better. And, and I mean, they were lovely at auditions, but then seeing how much they've taken their parts and run with them. That's been the most exciting part. Well, and I think, that, yeah, the thing about community theater is you have people with so many different ranges of ability and experience. Yes. So mm -hmm. it's nice to see once they finally all start clicking together, yes. to become that yes. one unit that, mm -hmm. you know, like no one stands out, really. They're all kind of together. Yep. Yes. yes. So what maybe one of the biggest challenges, since you were kind of 
thrown <laughs> into this. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that has been the biggest challenge. I mean, Susan, I, I was I was looking forward to learning more from Susan actually. So, I was hope was selfishly hoping she would come back, but um, but uh, I hope to take her vision and move her forward. I hope that we're doing justice to what she had mm -hmm. had originally intended, and. Um, yeah, the challenges of getting the checklists of things done. That's it. Mm -hmm. The fun part is working with the actors. Then there's all the other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you got to do the set and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that, luckily it seemed like Susan was there for all the blocking and that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. she had a, she was there for a big chunk of yeah, it. She oh, was. absolutely, it's her show. Yeah, We're just implementing um, what she envisioned. Yeah. Why don't yeah. you talk about you talked about the cast and how it's a very ensemble even though it's like centered around this one woman why don't you talk about the characters a little bit in the show and what we can expect to see <laughs> uh well carnell is the is the woman who has entered the miss firecracker contest mm -hmm. um and she comes from a background of a lot of lack a lot of lack if that makes any sense <laughs> uh, and she's like what 23 something around in there she, yeah she's yeah. 24 Four. Yeah, and yeah. the cutoff for Miss Firecracker is 25, so this is it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because they usually beauty pageant, there's an age limit. That's why I was yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, and um, she had been raised by her aunt and cousins, and mm -hmm. um, her aunt died under very strange, this very, had this very unusual disease um, that caused her to have hair all over her body. Mm. That's really weird. And her cousins... Uh, have come back. They were gone, and now they've come back to town, and um, they have their own sets of challenges. Her cousin uh, Delmont has—he's uh, been in a mental institution um, for reasons explained in the play. And uh, her cousin Elaine has come back also because she's left her husband. Uh, and. Uh, then there's Popeye, who is the seamstress for Carnell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there's um, Max Sam, who is uh, an old love interest of Carnell's. Okay. And so. And the cousin's you know. kind of a hurdle because she won Little Miss, or not yes, Little Miss the Firecracker. Yes, the one cousin yeah. had won Miss Firecracker yes, before. Yes, so she's maybe going to enter the contest? No, she's not. Mm -hmm. She okay, will okay. not <laughs> enter the contest. Okay. Yeah. She speaks she's on her life as a beauty. Okay. She gets to talk about that. <laughs> okay, yes. All right. So why should people come see the show? Oh, my goodness. It really <laughs> is. Um, the characters are all very real. The people that you can relate to. And they're all underdogs. Everyone roots for underdogs mm -hmm. kind of thing. They're people who are um, trying to work out their problems. And it's enormously funny. It, okay. it just is great. Did you want to add anything else? Or? Yeah, this this cast, you should come out and see the cast, too. The play is so well worth seeing, and the cast bringing these characters to life is well, well worth seeing. All right, well, thank well you spent. both for coming on the show. <laughs> thank, thank you for you. having us. For more on this and other programs, visit a2gov.org slash ctn. Visit youtube.com slash ctn and arbor to see all that ctn has to offer. And remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time to FYI.